Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Well, here we are in the last day of November. The end of 2013 quickly approaches and the winter months has truly arrived. Starting tomorrow, we'll start looking at the advent of the birth of Christ. And I won't be any different as I attempt to bring you my own form of Advent readings, which I hope you will enjoy. It's Numbers chapter 15 today. Let us open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, they reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to better understanding of you. Amen. Numbers, chapter 15. He always spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and tell them, When you have come into the land of your habitations, which I give to you, and will make an offering by fire to Yahweh, a burnt offering, or a sacrifice to accomplish a foul, as a free will offering, or in your set feasts to make a pleasant aroma to Yahweh, of the herd or of the flock, then he who offers his offering shall offer to Yahweh a meal offering of one tenth of an ephah of fine flour, mixed with the fourth part of a hen or royal. He shall prepare wine for the drink offering, the fourth part of a hen, for the burnt offering, or for the sacrifice for each lamb. Or for a ram you shall prepare for a meal offering two taps of an ephah of fine flour, mixed with the third part of a hen of oil. And for the drink offering, you shall offer the third part of a hen of wine, with a pleasant aroma to your way. When you prepare a bill for burnt offering, or for a sacrifice to accomplish a fowl, or for peace offerings to your way, then shall he offer with the bull a meal offering of three times of an ephah of fine flour, mixed with half an hen of oil. And you shall offer for the drink offering half an hen of wine, for an offering made by fire, of a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. Thus shall it be done for each bull, or for each ram, or for each of the male lambs, of the young goats, according to the number that you shall prepare, so you shall do to everyone according to their number. All who are native born shall do these things in this way, in offering an offering made by fire, or of a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. If a stranger lives as a foreigner with you, or whoever may be among you throughout your generations, I will offer an offering made by fire of a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. As you do, so he shall do. For the assembly, there shall be one law for you, for the stranger who lives as a foreigner. A law forever throughout your generations. As you are, so shall the foreigner be before Yahweh. One law and one practice shall be for you, for the stranger who lives as a foreigner with you. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and tell them, When you come into the land where I bring you, then it shall be that when you eat of the bread of the land, you shall offer up a wave offering to Yahweh. Of the first of your dough, you shall offer a cake for a wave offering. As a wave offering of the threshing floor, so you shall heave it. Of the first of your dough, you shall give to Yahweh a wave offering throughout your generations. When you unknowingly sin, and don't observe all these commandments, which Yahweh has spoken to Moses, even all that Yahweh has commanded you by Moses, from the day that Yahweh gave commandments, and onward throughout your generations, then it shall be. It was done unwittingly, without the knowledge of the congregation, that all the congregation shall offer one young bull for a burnt offering, for a pleasant aroma to Yahweh, with its meal offering, and its drink offering, according to the practice, and one male goat for a sin offering. The priest shall seek forgiveness for all the congregation of the children of Israel, and they shall be forgiven, for it was an error. And they have brought their offering, an offering made by fire, to Yahweh, and their certain offering before Yahweh for thy error. All the congregation of the children of Israel shall be forgiven, as well as the stranger who lives as well among them. For with regard to all the people, it was done unwittingly. If one person sins unwittingly, then he shall offer a female goat a year old for sin offering. The priest shall seek forgiveness for the soul who sins, when he sins unwittingly before Yahweh, to seek forgiveness for him, and he shall be forgiven. He shall have one law for him who does anything unwittingly for him who is native born among the children of Israel, and for the stranger who lives as well and among them. But the soul who does anything with a high hand, whether he is native born or a foreigner, the same blasphemes Yahweh. That soul shall be cut off among his people, because he has despised Yahweh's word, and has broken his commandment. That soul shall utterly be cut off. His wickedness shall be on him. While the children of Israel were in the wilderness, they found a man gathering sticks on the Sabbath day. Those who found him gathering sticks brought him to Moses and Aaron, 
and to all the congregation. They put him in custody, because it had not been declared what should be done to him. He always said to Moses, The man shall surely be put to death. All the congregation shall stone him with stones outside of the camp. All the congregation brought him outside of the camp, and stoned him to death with stones as Yahweh commanded Moses. He always spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and tell them that they should make themselves tassels in the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they put on a tassel of each border a cord of blue. And it shall be to you for a tassel, that you may look at it, and remember all Yahweh's commandments, and do them, and that you not follow after your own heart and your own eyes, but the way it's used to play the prostitute, that you may remember and do all my commandments, and be holy to your God. I am Yahweh your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am Yahweh your God.